STEAM lesson for January, the week of January the 14th. Uh, water cycle, natural resources. Here's the TEKS. Book of the week, for the week, is The Adventure of Little Drop. This is the link. Click it and you will see the story read aloud at the students. I thought I would throw in a few ideas you can incorporate in your daily five. Since it's about well, the water cycle and the stories about a little raindrop, it might be fun in your read to self or read to someone if they could sit under an umbrella. Just a thought. Or write about playing outside. Or what if they were a raindrop? What adventures would they have? The poem for the week is water. Water for the flowers, water for the trees, water for the birds, water for the bees, water for the rivers, water for, water for the sea, water for the world, and water for me. Here's another poem put to the song, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. Click here if you want to print it out. Word of the week is cycle. Actions that happen again and again in the same order. We'll be using this again several times when we get to animals, life cycle of a frog, uh, so on. I will have the Spanish as soon as I get it from Miss Tadoa. Be looking for that. Hopefully, I know the last couple of times, the little laminated uh, vocabulary cards I have not printed out, but I will try and have that done for you for this. I think it's um, important to do that, and I will try and get that to you on time. Instructional video for the lab. You need to watch this video. It shows how to do the activity that's going to be in the lab. This activity will be for each student to make and then to take back to the classroom. And if you desire, you could tape the tape to the classroom window for the students to observe. When you get to the lab, the Great Aqua Adventure is. Um, that's the video that will you will show. In the video, there is a demonstration on uh, a classroom water cycle. And so you'll have to watch the video. You may want to watch it yourself and then watch it uh, again in the video in the lab with the kids. You will, uh, the demonstration will require that you have hot water. So I will have a coffee pot in the lab. I, after you use it, make sure you fill it up, turn it back on, and make sure that it's uh, ready for the next class that comes through. If the ice uh, that you will need, it will be in a cooler, and if the supply gets low, please let me know so that I can make sure the next class has ice. During this uh, activity, the ice has to melt, so there's about five to ten minutes that we're waiting for this to melt that's the good time to do this. So they will take for this activity, which is this one. This is a video that shows how do you do it. This is when you do it. Uh, it tells you that here. The students will draw some water, some clouds, and the sun. They'll put their name on it. Probably down here where because they're going to be watching the raindrops and all form up here, but you could write their name down here, it'd be better probably. Um, they could do all this with markers that I'll have at the table. I'll have baggies at the table. But uh, when it comes to adding the color water, have them come to you and put, you know, not too much, because if it's too heavy, it's not going to stay taped to the window. So probably about half that. Then they could also, an extension to that, they could write what they observe each day in their journal. An extension activity. Here is a link to a water cycle printable. This can be reduced and put in their journal if you like. You could color it. And this is a water cycle book. And here's the link if you want to print that off and use it. So that's it um, for this week's STEAM Lab. Next week, we will continue to do natural resources, but I'm going to do something different here. We will probably go with uh, trees or plants. So, 
be looking for that. And I hope you have a good time.